split. He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the teeth. Mm-mm, it's Gary, baby. Gary, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. TMZ has reported that Tanya Sam, y'all, has officially bailed on filming from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, they're saying, y'all, according to the production sources, they're saying the reason why Miss Tanya has pulled out of the show, it revolves around Cynthia Bailey's bachelorette party, y'all, and what Tanya and Portia Williams did with a male stripper while cameras were rolling and what they may have happened off the cameras. Now, according to, apparently to Sam, y'all, Tanya, they say it's, she's not very happy about the incident being so heavily promoted for the upcoming season, so she stopped filming halfway through the season. Now, they're saying in addition Sources are saying that Tanya has other issues, including her relationship with her fiance and situation with the cookie lady that occurred on season 12. And they say she did not officially quit the show, but she is apparently done taping for the new season. And they're saying, you know, that Tanya Sam is a very um, affluent woman. And they say her um, her fiance is also a wealthy guy. And they say she can't be seen doing stuff like that, acting a fool with these women, honey, carrying on with what's happening with Real Housewives of Atlanta. So she immediately pulled herself from the show. So I guess that's a good thing, and that's saving her relationship, too, with her um, her fiancé and well. So we're going to keep her lifted up in our prayers, y'all. And while we're praying, y'all, let's continue to pray, y'all, for Lena Waits. Honey, I don't know if y'all heard this shocking story, but it's being reported, y'all, that Lena Waits and her wife, y'all, are filing for divorce, honey, Miss Elena Mayo. Now, they're saying they filed for divorce after one year of marriage. They was only together, honey, y'all, for a couple of months before they got married, and they're saying that the two announced their split back in January after getting married two months prior to them, you know, being together and stuff. And a lot of people saying they seemed like they were so happy together. Lena was so happy, but they also said allegedly, too, that Lena was cheating here with another actress. Brad, you know anything about that? I sure do not. Oh. But anyway, isn't that sad, though? How you feel about that? I mean, just... Uh, if, 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 you, if, if you're in a situation and it go bad, sometimes breaking away and getting a divorce is the best thing to do before well, somebody hurts somebody. Yeah. yeah, come on, huh? 50% of marriages don't work, so... Yeah, Gary, yeah, it's it's okay. We does. love Lena, and we're going to keep her in our prayers, and we yeah. wish her the best, and we're proud of her for all she's done, and she's still doing, for real. We love the shy, too. We, yeah, but what about um, Miss Mayo? I mean, what about her? Do we not I'm sorry, I don't her? know her, but I wish oh. her the best, too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, moving on, child. <laughs> Moving on in other celebrity news, y'all. Meg the Stallion, baby. Her Fashion Nova um, collection racks up $1.2 million, y'all, in the first 24 hours. Brad, do you have any um, Fashion Nova stuff? Fashion Nova? Nah, my big ass can't fit that. Oh, they don't make it for nope. big girls? Nope. I mean, they might. I don't wear that, though. You know, I like to be comfortable. That's kind of dressy stuff, I think. Yeah, they say Megan's clothing line, honey, with the popular brand racked up over one million dollars, y'all, in just 24 hours. That was just a day, and you know, I, speaking of Megan, you know, and I liked her performance last night on That's American what's Musical up. Award. She looked amazing. She looked real good. But the yeah, only thing did. I really didn't like, though, Brad, I mean, when she received the award in her dress, did they cut the budget on her dress? Cause that dress didn't look that, you know, like she paid that much for it. Put the all the money she got, and then she got that. this fashion over stuff. Don't do that, Gary. That if, if she was comfortable and that's what she wanted to wear, that's what she wanted to wear. We don't always agree with all your flowers and suits that you wear. <laughs> but if that's what you want to wear and you comfortable, no, you didn't. then Boy, that's what you no, wear. That's true. You know, you Got can't you. please everybody, Gary. <laughs> well, you can't she, please everybody, but she rich and the dress was gathered. And two no, she looked, five. she looked fine to herself. She looked in the mirror. She didn't have a problem with it. She walked out there. She wore it. So there's nothing for you to say. She won them awards, and she's great. Okay, but I just was like a lot of people saying she don't care about it. your opinion, Gary. She really don't. <laughs> well, no, she doesn't. But I mean, but Brad, I mean, the people, honey, were watching and looking at that. I'm like, that's God, okay. Me. And as long as she felt good inside and she felt like she looked good, that's all that matter. And a lot but of people said she didn't complain. wear no heels. You know, they ain't comp- nobody else was complaining. I heard no other complaints. Well, well I, I might have been, but the complain. man was like, whatever. Well, we don't care what the men were saying. Hell, what the men. We talking about what the people said. The people like, she didn't have no heels on, and then she didn't wear no, the dress wasn't all that cute. So I was like, well, golly, man. The, her costume when she performed, it was better than the um, dress she received the award, and you're supposed to bring a couple of outfits, right? When you're doing these award shows, because people know what you're going to come, if you win, you could kind of She did have cute. a couple of outfits. She had some she performed in, some she came in, and she had her, she, come on, Gary, come on, don't do this. Well, that green dress wasn't it, honey. I'm sorry. A lot of Just so to sick. you, it wasn't. Some, a lot of people like that green dress, and I'm I'm sure a, a whole bunch of them sold after she wore it. She looked like a little from. girl in it, Brad. She looked like a little girl. 
She well, looked like a little girl. You're a grown well, woman. And you come out that's maybe that's the look like she girl. wanted to have, Gary. Come on now. Well, I'm just telling you what people are saying. So that's what people say. So I'm just, just a what disgruntled old white woman you are. The color today is one of my favorite <laughs> colors. My color today is cranberry. And on a Thanksgiving, on the high end, you say cranberry. And on the lawn, you say beautiful maroon burgundy, honey. That's the cranberry color. That's your color for today. That is y'all. Give it up for Gary with the team. <laughs> 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 <laughs>